Today's video is all about beginner golf basics. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so as a beginner, the first thing you want to do is make contact. There's nothing worse if you're just starting out and you can't hit the ball, you can't strike the ball in the air, see it fly. So the first thing we must understand is how to control our low point. What is the low point? Well, it's the point where we are striking the ground and we want to have our low point just after the ball, okay? What I see in a lot of beginner golfers is because they want to get the ball up in the air, the body shape's all wrong, okay? So the body shape's behind the ball, we're trying to help it up in the air and the low point is behind the ball, okay? So we need to get that low point in front of the ball. So the first thing as a beginner, I want you to make sure the ball is in a position in your stance that's going to allow you to get the ball and then the turf, okay? So simply start with the ball opposite your feet, with your feet together, and then just take a step either side. Again, as a beginner, try and get loft in your hands, okay? We know you wanna get the driver out, but it's a difficult skill. Get some more loft in your hands, pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron. That's gonna help you get the ball up in the air. Once you've got the ball in the middle of your stance, again, what I see in a lot of beginners is the hands are this way, okay? So the, again, in an effort to try and help it up in the air, that's not what you want to do. I want you to do the opposite of that. I want you to get the hands forward, okay? So imagine you've got a straight line from your lead shoulder all the way down the arm, all the way down the club. Get that in a nice straight line where your hands are forward. Again, if you think about it, if that ball's in the middle, the hands are forward, that's gonna allow you to get some good shaft lean, get the low point control after the ball, and you'll start to see some good contact. Okay, so we've got the ball position, we've got the hand position. Now, what I want you to do is I just want you to do some nine o'clock to three o'clock swings, okay? So we don't need this full, big full swing just yet. I want you to do some half swings where we're going left arm back to nine, nine o'clock and then right arm through to three o'clock. So it's really getting that feel of halfway back and halfway through. That's gonna give you some confidence with ball striking, okay? So, as I said, if, if you're going too far back, there's, there's a lot of movement that can go on. So, trying to get this feeling of how far back and how far through is really gonna help you with that control. And, it, and just focus on hitting the ground from here, hitting the ground, back and through, back and through. What you'll also notice is that this left arm stay nice and straight on the backswing and the right arm straight, stay nice and straight on the follow through. We don't need any collapsing back, collapsing through. That's what I see a lot of inconsistency from that kind of collapsing. So from here, left arm straight, right arm straight. Get the feeling of that nice and consistent position. So from here, ball in the middle, Hands forward, we're going to go left arm to parallel, right arm to parallel. Get the feeling of that consistency. If you're struggling with that, you can take it back a step and go nice and slow. So a little bit slower, you know, start 50% speed, you know, even, even, you know, just kind of 30 yard shots, get a feel for it gradually build it up. Hope that helps guys. Three simple takeaways there. If you're just getting into the game or perhaps you're in the game and you've maybe lost your way a little bit, starting back at the ground up can really help you. Look forward to seeing you again very soon.